Oh, how are you feeling? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were feeling already. Oh, I thought you were demonstrating. Well, I, I was, but I didn't know you were filming it already. Uh, it's just a hitch. Like, uh, I got it. Yeah, if I just wanted to hitch something. Ready? Mm -hmm. okay, so I have a bite in the orange rope. And instead of coming through from underneath the bite and coming around and tying my sheet bend, an alternative is to lay my rope across the, the bite, come underneath and over itself, making a figure eight, and pull a bite through and tighten that down. And that's called a Laplander hitch or a reindeer hitch why would you use it ba basically the same as a sheep bend the biggest difference is you see when i pull this free it comes off as opposed to when i tie the sheep bend which is basically the same knot i can even do a slipped sheep bend so it looks the same okay so there's the slipped sheep bend looks like the same knot but when i pull the bite free i still have to go through the loop so that might be that might be an issue. Different reasons, maybe if you're tied to tied to a wild reindeer, I guess that's why they, they they do it like that. So that's the reindeer hitch. It's easy to tie with mittens or gloves when it's really cold out. There we go.